Your subscribe keeps us motivated. Subscribe now. A pendulum bob of mass m is raised to a height h and then reduced. At the bottom of its swing, it picks up a mass small m. To what height will the combined mass combined mass rise? Okay. So basically, what is happening here is let's understand the concept. So if this is our let's say a simple pendulum over here, okay, and the mass of this bob is capital M, right? Now this has been raised to a certain height. Let's say it is raised over here up till here, okay. So this will be our capital M when it is raised to a certain height. And how do we calculate the height? Let's make a horizontal here, and let's make a horizontal here. This gap is nothing but the height h, correct? This is height h. Okay. Now when it is released from this point, okay, it is coming back and it is finding some another mass which is placed over here. And let's take this mass as small m. Okay. So let me just remove this previous one and let's call this as small m here. This small m is doing what? It is getting stuck with this capital M, and they are combined, okay, together, and then they are reaching to certain height, okay, and they are reaching to any height, let's say, at this point with uh, this mass, small mass, and our capital mass m, okay, they reach here, and let's say this is height h dash, okay, so we have to calculate this height h dash where both of them will reach. Okay. I'll repeat the whole scenario. Initially, there is a simple pendulum with. Uh, pendulum with mass this capital m and when it is released from this height h kept okay on the right hand side from at this point it is released it will go down and it will find a small m and they both will stick together and they will go on the left hand side up right and they'll reach at any height h dash we have to calculate that height h dash right so if this uh, bob is released from this height h okay what will be its velocity when it reaches this small m its velocity will be Simple v equals to under root 2g. So from where you got this? Simply use v square minus u square equal to 2as. Okay, and you will get it by law of conservation of energy. Also, you will get half m v square equal to m g h. You can put and you will get v equal to under root 2g. So your choice. Anyhow, you can uh, choose that way. So v velocity with which this capital m will reach at this small m is root 2g. Now what we know from conservation of momentum from conservation From conservation of momentum, the momentum before collision should be equal to momentum after collision, right? So where is this collision is ha happening over here, right? Just before the collision takes place. What is the velocity of this capital M? Root two g h. We know that. And what was the velocity of this small m? Zero, right? So uh, mass of the the capital one, the bigger one, into the velocity which is root two g h plus the mass of the smaller one into the velocity which is zero. So no need of putting it equal to mass. Finally, they both are getting stuck together. M plus m and into the final velocity v dash. Let's call it as v dash. What is v dash? The final velocity when both of them are going on the left hand side. Now this v dash will be equals to how much m upon m plus m into under root two g h. This will be the final velocity of the system, right? After combining. Now because they are combined together, they reach as a height h dash. Correct. If they are reaching at this height h dash, then we know that the velocity with which they will reach at this point will be v dash should be equal to under root 2g h dash okay. by law of conservation of energy and this we can put it equal to what we got just now so that is m upon m plus m under root 2g h squaring both the sides what we will get so let me write here squaring both the sides We will get 2g h dash equals to m upon m plus m 2g h. 2g cancels with 2g and h dash squaring. When you are squaring, this will also get squared. So let me just rewrite this expression over here. Whole square 2g h. 
So this will become m square h upon m plus m whole square. This will be the height raised by the combined mass.